Hey guys, Mr. Vergias here and today we're going to talk about Apex Legends. Apex Legends has caught the free-to-play battle royale market by storm, which is basically just Fortnite and maybe a couple of other copycats that really who knows them anyway. So yeah, even in this so-called saturated market, it has surpassed numerous records in barely just a couple of weeks within its launch. Everything is going very, very well for the mercenaries working at Evil's EA's hands, and rightfully so. It's pretty much the only AAA Battle Royale game released in our time. Yeah, I'm not counting Call of Duty, Black Ops, Force, Battle Royale mode, because that's an insult to even my bra last two brain cells. Duh. So, what's so special about this game? Well, Apex presents itself with the core mechanics of the Titanfall games which may very well be the best first-person shooters of recent years. And that creates a perfect mixture for the concepts and gameplay that Apex Legends puts its players into. But being an EA game one way or another, shouldn't there be any controversy and or a drama behind the game's pretty face? Well, I think there is, and it's not as, as upfront as some of these controversies tend to be, which is very disturbing when you consider that anyone has really noticed it and creates a pretty weird atmosphere when playing the game, which we'll talk about later. Well, Apex being a Titanfall game, or at least set up in its universe, you would expect the lore of this interesting sci-fi world to be something really interesting to look forward into. The first two games had a very classic evil versus good narrative in a civil war between the IMC or the Hammond Industries. I mean, it was like the big corporations trying to exploit the, the other colonies of the Earth and a militia pretty much trying to defend the freedom of these colonies from the evil corporations, kind of like Disney versus the world or something like that. So it ended up to be a very plausible context for the future of mankind presented in, although not very complex, in a, in a very likable way. That being said, the story and world building has not been explored that much compared to other franchises and it leaves plenty open choices for the storytellers to dive in. This is where Apex comes into place. Being said after this war we talked about before, it's uh, introduces its gameplay as a sort of blood sport between ex-soldiers, bounty hunters, mercenaries and other figures alike. So it will only be reasonable to think that maybe the lore will be expanded upon throughout the lifespan of the game, kind of like what Overwatch has done with its characters and settings. Uh, maybe this could be like a setup for a future Titanfall 3 game, although it's not being confirmed since this is pretty much that, I mean, I'm pretty sure they scrapped the Titanfall 3 projects to make this, which, I mean, could, could end up being pretty good for the Titanfall franchise, since now it's getting a lot more recognition than it has ever gotten. But anyway, I digress. What I wanted to really talk about is when the, when the travel really came. And this is when Respawn first reference to the lore of this game was a confirmation of some of the characters in the game being part of the LGBTQULDCAICW set 10 ha attack helicopter community. And this really concerns me because we don't really have the lore for this game but it's it's somewhat relevant to know what these characters are fucking. I'm, uh, I mean, it's, it's really interesting to think about it because I, I don't give a, a, a damn about what these people do. I mean, I'm just shooting people, but for some reason, the developers wanted us to know their sexuality. And, I mean, it doesn't really sound bad. I mean, it sounds really innocent at first because, I mean, who cares? what these people do in this spare time. Uh, I mean, it's not really relevant, as I said before, because we are not playing their spare time or their romantic choices or anything. We're just shooting other people. And that's when the problem really starts to shine. This goes to question that, what's the urge in letting everyone know that the characters in your games are gay? Why is it that more important 
than setting the story behind this conflict that has been created in the in the in, in each match of the game. I mean, like, would would you do anything else? Like, let's say I go to buy a sandwich at a sandwich shop, and instead of like explaining what why I want the sandwich, I say something like, "Hello, I fuck horses. May I have a sandwich, please?" I mean, I suspect that the real reason that Response wants you to know these people's sexuality is to make sure you feel incentivized to kill these people, these queer characters. And it's raising a subject that I never expected to see in video games. Genocide against real-life communities and ideologies. It sounds really far-fetched, but maybe coincidental or not, but the also lack of Caucasian people only goes to show that this game's premise is centered around non-white and non-heterosexual figures killing each other for the sake of entertainment. We don't know who they are entertaining or why are they doing that. We don't know if they are like, I don't know, slaves or maybe prisoners that are being forced to do this, like classic um, gladiators or something like that, we don't know anything of that. But yet we know that they are, some are gay, some are not, some are black, some are brown. There's, I think there's only like one or two, there's two white characters, one being a girl, uh, which is batshit crazy, because she hears voices in her head, which again sounds really magical and things, but we don't have lore for it, so we can only assume that she's crazy like like and it's it's the only white female so the representation of white females in this game is that they are all crazy and hear voices in their head to do things and are pretty much psychopaths and then we have a guy which has it's pretty chunky like very thick and has a beard which is a pretty common figure if you ask me and it's main attack is basically toxic things, so it's a toxic white fat male that does toxic things, toxic stuff. So yeah, I mean the representation of white people is not really something you would be happy about, it's kind of racist if you ask me, but it's racist about every character in this game. The accents are painfully bad, I mean there's like this Wakanda waifu chick that talks like, I don't know, like, it's, it's like the most racist stereotypes you could hear from a voice actor playing a black female waifu. And there's also this kind of guy which looks like, I don't really know, like, you know, this Hawaiian type guy um, from the Atlantic, I, I, I don't, I don't know, New Zealand, I don't know. But it, it turns like it, it's just bro all the time, which is kind of, I don't know, cliche. I mean, it, it, this is full of that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's presenting this concept of these weird people, uh, these minorities, if you wanted to call them that, uh, to be killing each other in a bloodbath. Like, I mean, it just looks like the the last time we saw this kind of um, and these concepts being explored was in ancient Roman Empire's times, you know, in the circus and stuff, where they kill slaves or they stone uh, traitors and women or gays. Uh, well, nah, I think Romans were very gay. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm... I'm digressing. I mean, I still don't know how to feel about this. It's really concerning to me because there's... I mean, there's, there shouldn't be any hate-fueled conflict, but Respawn really wanted us to be feel responsible for this. Like, they want us to know these people are gay and aren't white, just to, to like, make... I, I don't know, it's, it's just really creepy, and it really bothers me that anyone is talking about this. They are praising this instead of being, you know, logical about it and not liking it because it, it's a spreading hate. You are shooting gay people for no reason other than just them being gay. That's that's really not... I, 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 I don't know, it's not good. Like, what the hell are we doing this? There's no point. 
So I, I need to show you how this character looks. Just give me a moment. Okay, so here we have the characters from Apex Legends. First, we're going to start with this thing, which I think is some sort of like Russian girl with a guy's body. I think this is confirmed to be a lesbian. I'm not entirely sure, but I mean, if you look at this, like, uh, I mean, she doesn't even have a face. I mean, it doesn't matter if she was a lesbian or not. And then we have this guy, which is supposed to be uh, gay, and I read his backstory online, and it says that uh, he was, um, uh, he had a boyfriend, and the two of them stole the, uh, his parents' bike or something like that, his dad's bike, and they crashed and killed his boyfriend, so then he decided that it was better to protect people for, I mean, like, he put himself in danger, and then he decides that he should have protected the people. I mean, it, it doesn't really have any sense, but uh, that's that. Then we have this super racist stereotype girl, which, I mean, uh, if you heard this girl, which I think we can do that, I mean, it's, I think it's pretty much the black facing of voice acting. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure if the actress, the voice actress of this character is actually a woman or not, or if she's black. But, I mean, the way he pro she pronounces things is kind of a uh, stereotype. I mean, it looks like a, um, a character out of Black Panther, you know? It's very Wakandian and that sort of thing. Here we have the, the gay T-1000. I mean, it's, I don't think they have given this guy any gender or anything, but, I mean, he sometimes has, like, cute little hearts and animals in his chest, so I'm pretty sure he's someone, uh, we'll, we'll call it a pansexual, which, by the way, pan means bread in Spanish, so he's pretty much a bread fucker a bread sexual if you will so yeah kind of disturbing stuff and then we go for the crazy anime girl that runs like a like like naruto for some reason but it's shit crazy so i, I think this is a depiction of the anime community so again bashing on a minority sort of so yeah, it's kind of weird that the only white female in all the in the entire game it's a crazy ass anime fan ninja thing weeboo that that looks like it's got a mop on his head for some reason her head sorry I mean I, I don't want to misgender any of these characters then we have uh, this lady that has like pasta on his head, I mean, it looks like macaroni, very dark macaroni, and I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I, I think this is the more like tomboy kind of character in this game, so I'm guessing she's going to end up being like a lesbian or something, or a trans former thing, I don't know, it's, it's just really weird, it's pretty flat on, on angles, it doesn't really have she doesn't have any muscles or curves, so uh, it's kind of androgynous. I mean, she she sounds like a girl, so I guess it's a girl. And then we have Mr. Toxic Man, which, by the way, the skins in this game are really, really ugly. Like, it's, it's just like, what what the hell is this? It's, it's kind of weird, but uh, as you can see, this guy is pretty thick. So that's cool, but it's the only white guy. So it the, rep the representation I'm getting from this game is that all white guys are fat, have weird hair and beard, and are toxic. So yeah, representation gets a thumb down from this character, because I don't seem to find any... I mean, there are no guys. Well, there is this guy, which is kind of normal, and it's looks kind of a weird looking dude with that hair and those goggles and stuff, but I, I mean, this looks Titanfall enough. Reminds me of the pilot's armor, 
some sort of way, but as you can tell, there are no men. But when, aside from these two, but these are, I mean, there is no regular person here. They are all, they look pretty weird and, I mean, it's not really inclusive. I don't think it's it's kind of it's kind of a weird mixture so it's not really representative so it's like the developers picked out the the, the their stereotypes and like oh yes I, I hate I mean all dudes are fat so let's make all dudes fat which by the way there are only two dudes two fat dudes and and this thing so the rest are women and robots, which I don't think you can consider it to be a male since, I mean, his balls are pretty much non-existent. Oh, yes. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, it crashed, but I mean, this is my point. It, it doesn't really, it's not really representative. So what's the point of having LGBTQ AA batteries characters in this game if you, you're just not including everyone. I mean, if you're going to go to be inclusive, then include ev as, as much people as you can, not only do like eight characters, which four of them are pretty much the same. One is a robot, which is the more interesting one, and then, I don't know, it's just, they're all stereotypes. That's the thing. They're all the very, the most, the utterly most stereotyped character they can, that they could ever put out you know so yeah it's it's definitely an interesting business decision so i mean it's kind of weird and considering the the nature of the skins which i can show you because this thing just crashed um they all look like to be focused on the asian market there's a lot of like dragon skins and classic uh, asian mythology skins and stuff like that and i don't know about you but i haven't seen any asian character in the game which let me tell you is going to be a big part of the this game's population i mean as much as older populations are that i i don't see any black male i mean aside from this guy but this guy is not supposed to be like purely black it's like a uh, like a New Zealand type of uh, guy, or uh, I, I don't know. It's uh, it's it's weird. It's like not the only pure black person in this game is that waifu medic that sounds super racist. Like uh, it's I don't know. This is a total mess, and it definitely needs to be called out. So yeah, I give you guys to form your own opinion on this. So I, I don't know in which note to end this video. I'm just, it's really weird, man. You, you definitely feel strange after talking about this because it's not something that, I don't know, it's just weird. So let me know your opinion in the comment section if you are brave enough to say anything because I don't know, the, the situation with these big game corporations being this open about racism and homophobia it's really disgusting and i don't know man it's really dystopian it's all i can i can say about this so yeah thank you guys for watching um thank you guys for being uh, i don't know supportive of this i, I don't know it's just it's feel it feels bad it really does feel bad so yeah guys thanks for watching and see you in the next video